In this video, I'm going to explain the aim of Practical 3 as well as give you a few hints on getting started. The main aims of Practical 3 is to familiarize you with switch cases and do while loops. Question 1 of the practical asks you to create a program that will calculate the mean, maximum, or minimum of three numbers. Before you start coding, create a flowchart that explains how the program will work. An example of this you can see here. Your program needs to print a menu to the screen and read in the user's choice in the three integers the operations must be performed on. If the user selects 1, you need to calculate and display the mean. If the user selects 2, you need to calculate and display the maximum. If the user selects 3, you need to calculate and display the minimum. This whole decision-making process needs to be implemented in a switch case. Point 4 of the practical has a suggestion of how you can calculate the maximum and minimum of the three numbers. Once you've done this flowchart and understand the layout of your program, you can start coding by creating a project. Please remember to include the standard comment block and make sure your code is correctly indented. Question 2 of the practical asks you to implement the Newton-Rapson method of finding the roots of a polynomial. This method uses tangent lines to refine guesses of the x-intercept until it is acceptably close to the true intercept. There is a link to a video explaining the method in the description. A brief description of how the method works is that you guess an x-intercept. You then draw a tangent line to the function at that x value and use the x-intercept of the tangent to update your guess. You then use your new guess's x value and draw a tangent to the function at that x value and use the new tangent's x-intercept to update your guess. You repeat this until the value is acceptably close to the x-intercept. To get started on this question, you need to draw a flow diagram of how your program will work using points 3 to 10 of the practical, and they can be found on page 6. I have created an example flowchart that I will talk through with you. First, you need to read in the user's first guess. Next, you need to read in the error margin. This is how close the value needs to be to the true x-intercept to be acceptable. Next, you need to read in the maximum number of iterations that the program can go through. This is done to ensure that your program never runs infinitely and will stop in an acceptable amount of time if you cannot find a result. Next, you're going to have to calculate the next guess. You can do this using the formula given in point 5 of the practical, and for this practical you need to use the function given in point 6. You can see here that the formula requires the derivative of the function, so you will have to derive the function by hand in order to implement it in your code. Once you have calculated the next guess, you can calculate your error. The explanation of how to do this is given in point 4 of the practical. When you have calculated the error, you can display your results as asked for in point 10 and increment the counter and update your guess of x. Your program must now decide if it must make another guess or if it should stop. If the error is still above the error margin and it has not yet reached the maximum number of iterations, it must go back and make a new guess and repeat all the steps. If, however, the error is below the error margin or the counter is more than the maximum number of iterations, your program must stop. This whole decision-making process must be implemented in one logic check and this whole loop must be implemented in a do-while loop. Once you have your flowchart done, you can start coding. Remember to include the standard comment block at the top of your code and make sure your code is indented correctly.